and the Beanstalk, a story about courage and adventure. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. He lived with his mother. They were very poor. All they had was a dairy cow. Finally, one day, they had no money to keep themselves fed. So, his mother made a decision. Jack, we don't have any flour. Take our dairy cow to the market and sell it. You must sell it for a good price. All right, mother. I'm on my way. <laughs> Leading the dairy cow, Jack left home. It was very hot, and they were very tired from the walking. So they took a rest under a tree. Then an old man came. Boy, is this dairy cow for sale? Yes, I want to sell it for one hundred gold coins. That's too expensive. How about this? I will give you five magic beans. If you plant them, you will harvest happiness far beyond one hundred gold coins. Really? I agree. The dairy cow is yours. What a good boy! You will never suffer any loss from selling the dairy cow for these five magic beans. Grasping the magic beans, Jack ran back home happily. He wanted his mother to feel happy too, but she was very angry when she saw that he only took back a few beans. Alas, you silly boy! You must have been cheated by someone. Of what use can these beans be? Gee, mother! No! Why are you throwing no. the beans away? The mother was so angry that she threw the beans out the window. Jack went to sleep sadly. Congratulations! However, during the night, a magical thing happened. The magic beans in the yard began to grow, and then kept growing until the next morning. Oh my God! Are those outside the window? My magic beans? They have reached the sky. Mother, mother, hurry! Come see it. Eh? Mother is not here. Is she out? Well, I will climb up the beanstalk and see what there is in the sky. Oh, wait a minute. I need to leave a message for mother. Mother, come. I will climb up the beanstalk to the sky and search for our happiness. Come. I will be back soon. Period. Well, I will climb up now. Jack climbed up the thick beanstalk. He climbed up to the clouds in the sky. On the clouds, there was a huge castle. Jack walked up to the castle and knocked the door. An old woman opened the door for him. 
Boy, where are you from? Why do you come here? My name is Jack, and I come from the ground. Could you give me some food? I am hungry. Ah, this castle belongs to an evil giant. He loves eating children the most. Thank God he is not here now. Come in. Thank you. Wow! Everything here is huge! <sighs> because this is where the giant lives. Come here. I will give you some food. Eat this, little boy. Thank you. <sighs> nom, 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 nom. Wow! Delicious! Gosh, the giant is back. Hide yourself in the pot now. Don't make a sound. Okay. I have smelled the odor of a delicious boy. Congrats. Is there a boy in the room? <gasps> I'm going to eat him. There is no boy. You are thinking nonsense. You must be too hungry. Look, here is your breakfast. Come on, eat your breakfast. Hearing what the old woman said, the giant sat down and ate his breakfast. While eating, he took out a goose from his chest and put it in a basket on the table. The goose flapped its wings and laid a gold egg. Wow! Goose that lays gold eggs. If I could take it down, my mother would not be worried about our lack of food. Oh, oh yummy. Uh, I am stuffed. Hey, harp, play some music for my sleep. I want something lyrical. Did you hear me? The giant took out a beautiful harp and put it on the table. The harp automatically emitted beautiful music. Hearing the music, the giant felt immense joy. Wow! A harp that automatically plays? The sound is amazing! If I could take the harp to my mother, she definitely would be happy. The harp kept playing. Listening to the music, the giant fell asleep in a chair. The harp fell asleep too and stopped playing. The goose, which lays gold eggs, also nodded off to sleep. Then Jack quietly climbed out of the pot, walked to the table, and held the harp and the goose. But when he walked over to the beanstalk with the harp and the goose, the harp suddenly woke up and screamed. Help! Someone is taking me away! Thief! Stop! Gosh! The giant is chasing me! Run! Come on! Climb down the beanstalk! <laughs> Don't try to escape! I will get you! <laughs> Come on! Bring an axe and cut the beanstalk! I cannot let the giant climb down! 
Stop it now! I still need a little time to finish it. Oh no! Jack quickly cut down the beanstalk. Then the giant fell from the sky, hit the ground heavily, became a cloud of smoke, and then disappeared. When his mother came back, Jack gave her the goose that lays golden eggs and the harp that automatically plays. They lived happily ever after. Yes! You see, yes! mother, wasn't it worth that I sold the cow for those beans? Yes, but now that we are living a good life, do not exchange anything for more odd things. Okay, mother. No way. <laughs> After reading this story, please answer the following questions. What tool did Jack use to cut down the beanstalk? Answer 1. Axe. Answer 2. Saw. Answer 3. Hammer.